I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, July the 19th, 2016. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke today at a ceremony marking 10 years since the Second Lebanon War. At the memorial held at Mount Herzl in Jerusalem to remember the IDF soldiers who fell in battle in 2006, the Prime Minister warned that although the border has been relatively quiet with Lebanon since then, Israel was ready for any scenario. Warning terror group Hezbollah, Netanyahu said if our peace is kept, those who stand against us will also enjoy peace. Adding that anyone who thinks they will find a spider web will receive an iron wall, an iron fist. Netanyahu also referred to recent deadly attacks in Israel and across the globe. He said this terror strikes not only Sarona Market in Tel Aviv or Otniel Settlement, referring to the West Bank, he said it strikes in Paris and Nice, Brussels and Orlando. We are in a global campaign, just as we are well aware of the character of the threats, so we are preparing for every contingency. The president of Paraguay, Horacio Cartes, is in Israel this week. He is the first Paraguayan head of state to visit the country. Cartes met with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and signed several statements of cooperation with Israel in various fields. The visit follows the reopening of the Israeli embassy in Paraguay about a year ago. Paraguay is known among South American countries for its support of Israel, in particular at the United Nations, and in particular both Netanyahu and Cartes noted Paraguay's yes vote at the historic vote at the UN in 1947 on Israel. Uh, it's good to remind that in 1947, when Paraguay gave you the vote to Israel become a state in May 14 of 1948, in the name of my country, of all the population, I want you to know Israel is in the heart of all Paraguay. And some 250 parliamentarians and experts from around the world attended the Global Forum for Combating Anti-Semitism held this week in Argentina. This is the first time the international gathering has been held in Latin America. Also for the first time, the forum was co-organized by a non-Jewish group, the Hispanic Israel Leadership Coalition, which is an evangelical Christian organization. Together with Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Latin American chapter of the World Jewish Congress. Among those in attendance at the forum held in Buenos Aires, U.S. Special Envoy to Monitor and Combat Anti-Semitism Ira Foreman, as well as Argentinian Vice President Gabriela Michetti. The biennial gathering aims to assess the state of anti-Semitism globally and determine societal and governmental response to combat it. And yesterday, attendees from the forum joined the Jewish community in the capital to mark the 22nd anniversary of the 1994 terror attack at the AMIA, the Jewish Community Center of Buenos Aires, which left 85 people dead and hundreds injured. France named its new ambassador to Israel. She is Hélène Legal, and she is the first woman to ever hold the post. Legal is scheduled to arrive in Israel in September, replacing Patrick Mazanev, who has been the French ambassador since 2013. Legal previously served as first secretary in France's Tel Aviv embassy and at other posts across the world. She currently serves as a foreign policy advisor to President François Hollande. 220 Olim, or new immigrants to Israel from North America, landed in the country today. The first chartered flight of the summer included Olim from 17 states across the U.S. and from two Canadian provinces, as well as former servicemen from three different U.S. Armed Forces units. Nefesh Benefesh assists in and offers services to ease the Aliyah process from the U.S. and Great Britain. They organized the flight today together with Israel's Ministry of Aliyah and Immigrant Absorption, the Jewish Agency for Israel and Karen Kayemet, Le Israel, as well as the Jewish National Fund, JNF. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, July the 19th, we continue with our exclusive coverage from the American Jewish Committee's Global Forum held recently in Washington, D.C. And at 7 tonight, three alumni of the AJC's Project Interchange talk about their experiences traveling to Israel and what happened when they returned to the U.S. 
At 7.20, Israeli opposition leader Isaac Herzog gives his take on the future direction of Israel. At 8, Israeli journalist Ronen Bergman of Yediot Haronot, Boaz Bismuth of Israel Hayom, Herb Kanan of the Jerusalem Post, and Amir Oren of Haaretz talk about Israel's future. In other programming tonight at 9 o'clock, Mark Golub sits down with Soviet Jewry hero Yosef Mendelevich. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, Mark speaks to Aaron David Miller of the Woodrow Wilson Institute, who discusses the failed military coup in Turkey and the prospects for peace in light of the Middle East Quartet's report for the first time referencing Palestinian incitement as a roadblock on tonight's In the News. And that's the JBS News update for Tuesday, July the 19th, 2016. I'm Tisha Bader.